Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new live stream for Resident Evil 2. This is Chris Kelly Plays and we are playing through the Leon uh, scenario at the moment and we are going to... Where's my red line? So yeah, uh, last episode we had made it into the sewer. And we're just going to continue with that now. Let's hope everyone's well on this uh, Wednesday. It's so got three open spaces, and I'm not quite sure. You know, we played this so many years ago, but, um, you know, not, not sure where I'm supposed to be going, what I'm supposed to be keeping in my uh, inventory. Is this the... Oh, right. All right, so we need to get the... Push up my mate. So I think I've got three of the four that I need. Just see if there's anything else. Just check the audio. Is the audio okay for everyone? So I'll just check on... Ada? Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. Hey, Chris. My Thanks name's very Leon. much for watching. I'm with the RPD. Well, it, it is just nonchalant. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Control of Ada. Jeez, oh, come on. wrecked my health. That's a, not a very good start to the, the live stream. Right. I think I'm doing this way. That's go, that's going down. Quite low on your vocals. Right, cheers. Uh, is that any better? Awesome man, thank you. Of course, this is the uh what are we puzzle? So let's just try and get 
these boxes lined up so you're able to walk across them. So we're going to see if we can get uh, Leon's scenario finished tonight and then we'll do Claire's I think on Friday depending on depending on my lockdown schedule I guess uh, and depending on what the wife wants to do but uh, really enjoying going through uh, the old games The dogs were always my Achilles heel oh, and being a bitch. Right. The dogs are just a bitch. Club key. Is that it? Yep. Right, so we've got that sorted. Now we'll head down. Shotgun shells. Oh, is that it? All right, then we'll just head back up. That's that's it for control Ada. Like obviously they kind of fleshed that out a bit more in the uh, in the remake when you got like this. Uh, Leon, can you, you got hear a weapon me? that was exclusive to her. Ada, I love the aiming in, in this, Chris. Just uh, no I snap hear. to the the enemy, so you need to turn all the way. Think fast. Here's one more. And no 180 degree turn as well. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Oh, she's gone, man. So it's got the club key to open up the rest of the uh, list of the rest of the locked rooms in in the precinct. Which is set set up for. Not sure what else you need to crank for. Um. In for now. Um, and I'll just get rid of the shotgun shells. I think I'll take the plugs just now and just put them in so I've just got the one that I need to worry about. So let's head back to the present. Don't 
Take care of the spiders already. So I was heading back across to see about the the other doors in the precincts that were locked. one. I should have just kept my bloody... Yep, it's this one. Should have kept the shotgun shells. I used to read all the Resident Evil books. I became obsessed after the first film, but too scared for the game really. Last one I played was five. Five wasn't scary. Uh, five was the one set in Africa and it was just... A card key. Oh, I'm out of there. Yes! I had the books, yeah. I had, uh, um, the books had the comic book that they'd done which included like a trip to Britain as well because there was um and they caught look yeah they went to London I think and uh, there was the you know the the National Guard and the protect Buckingham Palace Oh, that's right. So you can either choose the machine gun or the side pack. Um, with the side pack, I'm carrying more items. Yeah, so it's either you leave the side pack or you leave the machine gun for Claire. Um, I think I'm going to take the side pack. Life was terrifying. I have a heart of stone. Wait, what? Should probably save it for Claire. Oh, it does it anyway. Oh, there's some bullets. No, I didn't. I didn't find five that scary. I found. Um, I still find one uh, terrifying, the remake especially. Um, two is more action stuff, Resident Evil 3, I don't remember getting scared that much. Um, Four didn't scare me at all. Apart from the wee goblin man that you is, is one of the, the bad guys in it, with his uh, his wee uh, Napoleon hat. Um, if you pass Resident Evil on to a different developer, who would it be? EA. Um, 
I'd like to see some kind of different games coming out. Yeah. Um, developer. Um, the guys who made... Like, I mean, they're kind of doing a good job of it themselves with the... Uh, like, RE8 being first person, first person perspective. Like, they're covering the bases themselves. Uh, RE8 and RE7 were fantastic and such a change to the games. I would want... I maybe want to see... I'd, make, I'd want to see like smaller kind of side games made for like I loved on the PlayStation 2 the Resident Evil Outbreak which was like survivor it was like a multiplayer game but it was like survivors trying to get out of Raccoon City and uh, like if they made kind of smaller um, smaller story games of just regular people trying to survive um, an outbreak in Raccoon City, that would be pretty cool. Um, what is down here? Save area. Um. So this is the direction you would go when you're Claire and Sherry. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way. But yeah, in terms of yeah, other other Resident Evil games they could make. Um, you know the pro problem with like five and six that I really had was like the story got way too overblown and um, it just it just kind of got too much for its, for the, what they were trying to do so certainly scaling back is the best kind of option for it um, I still love the look of um, village and like the technical aspect of the like they're trying to make it so that there's no loading screens um on the playstation 5 um it'll be interesting to see what it is like on the playstation 4 um oh hello magnum Watchman's Diary, August 11th. I finally had the chance to see the blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the, up on the tower rather than that. I was neglecting my duties. Why was the access to the tower prevented 
in the first place anyway. September 5th, I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas, he's a quiet man, and he really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he, that he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease? Or he is just rude? Or is he just rude? Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that could match his skills is in chess is his appetite. All the day. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. It's September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but he we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Oh no. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Lovely. Across the hill, play game. Yeah, that would be cool. They're supposed to be remaking the fourth game next, and then remaking Code Veronica after that. So I think I've just got room through here. Yeah, Robbie, the uh, the PlayStation One version of Resident Evil Two. Released all the way back in 1998. What a time to be alive at 13. Been etched in twelve thirteen. Okay, stop the mess up. Picture of a man on a carriage. Something is on the wheel. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. Okay. Queen, the king, and the jack. Right. So we need to look at the statues. So is it going by card rules then? Is this the queen? Then the 
Jack. Yep. Okay, so we've now got the cog for the clock tower. Get the crank as well. Just, I'll, I'll get the, the film developed. Just as a wee bonus. We a bit of a completionist sometimes, so... Film B. Pictured in front of the Arukas Taylor, regressed into a zombie within two hours, subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis, in addition to feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Our Lambert. So what else was I doing at 13? I was playing this game. Um, well, I was back at school. Uh, I was... What is it? Going into, from primary seven into first year? Or I was already in first year? Um, I was listening to... Nirvana, I was listening to, I was listening to The Offspring, I was going to say The Offspring, the SECC, remember when you used to be able to go to gigs, Jesus, okay, I think I'll just, there we go, thank you sir. Spring Green Day. Yeah, it was less than Jake. Oh, of course. Mm. 
Yeah. Don't know whether it is better to operate the shutters in that corridor or if it's better to operate the shutters in uh, the, the corridor where you first meet the liquor. It's probably better to actually do it. Um, in that one, because that's the one that you need to actually go down again. Right. A square hole. And we don't have that anymore. Brilliant. Wipes his, wipes his mouth. Get away! Ah, of course. Oh, remember that back in '98 when it was just like, oh, the graphics on that eye. Wow. Look at that, that's amazing. got the story <laughs> ben. now you are the story mate now you are the story <laughs> bitter irony the bitter irony co-conspirator it's the full story get that scum make, make him, him pay. pay hang in there ben My chest! It's burning! What's wrong? Oh, yeah. Very gruesome death for him. And he just scurries away. And man oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, I thought it was managing to open the door itself. Mail to the chief, Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to, continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. I have deposited the amount of US $10,000 to the account of you for your services this term 
As per our agreement, the development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board of Umbrella Incorporated. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project to get continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. D detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. William Birkin. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Yeah, I've got the Wait. plug to get. Hey! I've got the plug. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. All right. Just whenever you're you're free. You don't sound too pleased about being able to get out of here. Is there I'm trying to get this herb. At least I think it's a herb that's right next to his body. That is a herb right next to his body, come on. Right, fine. We'll just leave it. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait. Let's get the hell out of here. How is everyone doing? This is Chris Kelly Plays, the original PlayStation 1 version of Resident Evil 2. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Please like and subscribe and share and comment and do whatever you like to be doing on a Wednesday night. Taking on the that monster as well. Yep. Right, here we go then. Just take a shot into it just now, Leon, while it's trying to get up. Spit two of the things. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you.
Seriously, get off me. Oh, right. Here we go. Right, let's head down to... Let's head down to the sewers. to find your own way. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. <laughs> Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my who, who job to look out for like you. like that? But who shrugs not like that? get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way for now. It's a lovely bit of mansplaining there, Leon. She certainly sounded like she wasn't going to take that advice at all. It's like, yeah, we'll just do it like your way for now. See what I care? Yeah, dick. I'll take a blue herb. I'll take a couple of blue herbs just in case. Not sure how much you actually get poisoned in uh, when you're playing easy, but worth a shot. Sewer management facts. User list of the connecting facility on the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angel Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make sh use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapours. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme precautions should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief of Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every month, every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Incorporated, as the probability of an attack upon Dr. Burton will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all the other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Security Chief, Umbrella Helicopters. Signing off. Right. I think I will save. We've been going 44 minutes so far. Hope everyone's uh, keeping up with the stream, enjoying it. Please comment with uh, what your favourite Resident Evil game was. If you've enjoyed the remix, please don't do sound off. Valve. Wonder if we will actually. Right. 
You look like you can move. to the warehouse. It's too dark. Let's go back upstairs. Oh, hi, Ada. You're taking failure, right? Okay. Let's go. What are you scurrying off to? We beasties. And that's why I need the fire. Whoa, good shot. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Four. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Yeah, why are you going through their passwords? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. Oh. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. I think this, this was way. the height of animation for computer g games. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. <laughs> B 
There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Uh-oh. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <gasps> telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. Well, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! I'm, I'm stopping it! What is this thing? Oh, William, William, William. What is this what thing? Have you done to yourself? Fire! Fire! Son of a... And then the rats got it. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. <laughs> What a slap. Too bad. <laughs> Just, <whew. gasps> Don't get this right now. There's a book, I don't need this right now. It's like Leon will take care of this. Leon will carry the stuff. You don't look so good. I think it's now that uh, the fan's now working, so I can't. Yeah. What's the map? What does the map tell me? There's some herbs that I could possibly collect here. Wolf metal, okay. Shotgun billets, that's good. Ah, of course. Thank you. 
test it just now as well. I'm not going to save right now. <clears throat> Let me know if the sound's okay for everyone. Every possible few people that are watching. But thank you very much for watching this. Very much appreciated. Um... Is this again? Ah, yes. Right, so we're coming up on the uh, big alligator moment. You sh what are you shooting at? Oh my god. Let's get this. There it is. Come on. Did you pick it up? What's your thing? No. Get that freaked me out. And it was just like, oh, that kind of thing can't happen in real life, can it? But no, it's just massive mo mounds of fat that are in the sewers. relationship with Ada Wong and Don't mention it. Leon Kennedy. Will they ever settle down together? Will they ever just start just a family? John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. Let's the sooner the better. Together. Let's get out of here together. Can open the book. Sir Manager Diary, June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Dawn today and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't seem to come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked to be funny. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all, he's done for the town. He doesn't deserve this. July 21st. I really drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it gives means for the chief to serve and protect. August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that an investigation will be city-wide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to speak 
suspend all umbrella so- sewer facility operations until the investigation has concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. The sewer measure diary has been filed. So I've got both medals now. I just need to... There we go. No bugs. Good. There's a ladder. Okay. Yeah, I'm heading the right way. Right direction. Right direction. <clears throat> so this is my second live stream uh, in recent memory. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get better at talking to the camera. <coughs> talking in live streams, talking to myself when I'm not really having much back and forth like I'm wanting people to get to know me, the YouTuber, the streamer, um, whatever you want to call me. Um, but yes, I am Chris. I have been in weddings for the best part of a decade. But right now, there isn't any weddings going on, so... I haven't really been doing much at all. What am I doing now? Ah, of course, of course. Right. Sorry, I've gone completely the wrong way. I I need to use the the meadows on the Yes, yeah, so I've been a wedding vlogger for for the last 10 years. I started doing YouTube gaming in November to can I pass the time when I wasn't doing weddings because of COVID and lockdown. Um so I'd finished like a large Oh, there's bloody zombies. Um, so I had a large backlog of weddings because I had cancer in 2018. I had a tumour in my nose and uh, that got taken care of with chemotherapy, surgery and then radiotherapy and uh, I got the all clear after well I finished my treatment in December uh, it looked all clear and um, after that I got back into weddings like I, I've been on steroids and Kepra which helps with seizures uh, because the cancer was a tumour that had spread throughout my sinuses and uh, up to my, words, my brain and one day while I was in the hospital I had a massive seizure uh, and why is this like animated? Why is that area 
animated. Like there's nothing you can pick up, there's nothing you're doing there. Um, so yeah, I had a massive seizure. And after that I was put on Kepra, I had my li driver's license taken away from me. Uh, and I managed to get it back last year uh, after two years of fighting for it. I'd only ever had the one seizure and after that Seizure and I've been put on capital for the last two years, three years now. Um, I've also been on steroids because my body does not um, function the same way that it did because of all the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy they had on my brain and my spine. Um, it's been a hell of a time. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of the stuff that I've been going through and is that for? I feel like I need something to ignite it. Why would I ignite it? Oh, I'm just going to ignite it. Why not? Oh, it lit up something on the floor. Yeah, I'll take the box key. Would I have not seen that if it were? But yeah, because of um, my situation, uh, I have avoided uh, doing any other work other than kind of video editing, filming weddings. Filming weddings can be a very intense. Oh, it just barfed all over me. Thanks for that. Take the shotgun part. I think uh, if I'd got the the safe one up, then I would have been able to have a much stronger pistol. Uh, but yeah, um, weddings can be very intense. Uh, eight to ten hours shoot so you know you're oh my god I do love filming weddings, um, but yeah, when work started to dry up because no one wanted to get married in 2020 and now into 2021 when lockdowns and restrictions are still happening, then uh, I turned to I turned to YouTube to kind of keep me going and work on different kind of videos than I'm used to. Um, so when I started the channel, I kind of timed it for when uh, for when that you know that all this the PlayStation Five was coming out because um, I, I wanted to make something a bit different, but I've kind of just settled into being. A, Shotgun shells. Take them. 
and I think that's I think that's magnum bullets. I'll take them as well, but I'll just Yeah, I wanted to uh, do get YouTube gaming for a while. I kind of bought the, I bought a bunch of the uh, like the green screen and the HDMI splitter uh, and the Elgato stuff from uh, Computer Exchange just to um, I traded a bunch of hard drives that had raw footage from the last ten years of weddings that I'd shot. So, just got rid of that. Um, <clears throat> just, I had all this stuff from like the last 10, 12 years that I'd been working and just needed to actually take the time to organize everything. So, when I did that, I freed up a lot of hard drives so that I could just trade them into computer exchange and use that cash to get some of the gear that I needed to stream with. <laughs> Sorry. That's another thing when you get uh, cancer in your nose, uh, your nose is completely screwed. What was the pox key for then? There's a logo on the key ring. Figured it out. Figured this puzzle out. But um, I've really enjoyed uh, being a YouTuber so far. Um, enjoyed the uh Wait, what's up to this then? Oh, I forgot to pick up the... Uh. What am I doing now? I'm going to put the valve in there. And take the... Magnum bullets because I think the big boss fight is coming up. Yeah. 
<clears throat> that is a bit of a story about me. Uh, and I'll just get back to the games. Slash. Ada! Ada! Can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it! Limited time. Okay, so forever as long as this fight takes place. Okay, here we go. Hello. His head shrinks into his body and then he gets. Yeah, lovely, a new head. Oh, of course, yeah. You need to, you need the the razors. Oh. Jeez, oh man. Leave that out. There we go. Yep. Thank you. Die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Oh, no. So, <clears throat> no, we couldn't possibly do that to you. you. It's my job to look after you. be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. Oh, I guess you're over John I, then. I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Just quickly treat that. Oh.
I'm trying to think if you actually do anything else with the valve. Answers in the comments. Or it just makes you keep it. <clears throat> Fifth time saving, probably the last time saving, maybe. See how the. See how the stream goes. Sally. No point taking that. Right. <clears throat> I've got the shotgun, pistol, a hell of a lot of bullets. Let's do this. first. That takes you into... Look at those graphics. Just look at them. Spray Might as well. Oh, she is case. If I had a fuse case, I do have a fuse case. Let's go. I'm all out of water, so main fuse. Chris, do you like the films? I'm not talking to myself, there is someone in the comments. CP is, CP is Chris uh, as well. So, Chris, do you like the films? I enjoyed the first one. Uh, the second one was okay. Race kind of got a bit doo doo and a bit too matrixy. Yeah, when it was all about 3D. And Albert Wesker became a guy from an Agent Smith. Two or more staff need to be present to enter commencing with this. No. So they, I think if you try it, then uh, it messes up your chances of actually using it. Um, it went all attack with the clones. Or with the. Um, yeah. Yeah, B Mila Jovovich. I forget what her character was called, but you know, Paul Wild Stallions. Ah, of course. 
So the second one had horses in it. You still alive? Three bullets, come on. Then. Luckily, you don't see this because uh, that seemed quite far down. The second one had Nemesis, what was a retribution where it was like Las Vegas. Um, and it was 3D. Oh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just bloody. I'll just reload right now. Seriously, pal. Of course. Jeez, oh. A shame her world broke in it. <laughs> oh god, I completely forgot the second one now. Second one where they blew up Toronto. Or I couldn't say a city as it was supposed to be. And I had the uh, the slow motion zombies in it. I need a more disc. They were trying to do so much fan service with it as well, like it, having uh, the characters from the games in it, but some of it, you know, it just felt too, too much like they were just shoving it in. Shake my world bug. <laughs> um. going to get to use that key.
this door, dude. What can I experiments were performed here? Can't remember if I need. To, if it's better if I have. Oh god. I think it's better if I come back to that area and I have a ke chemical that takes care of the. the moth. At least it's keep taking care of the. the liquors. Enough with the liquors, okay? What are shotgun shells? What's that? They're in thirty five, I think. We'll see this this through to the end. Um, oh my! It's locked from the inside. Ah, yes. Okay. Laboratory security manual. Uh, security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an unobtainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed toward the underground transport facility. In the instance, instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of it without delay and then since that the lab itself becomes a contaminated the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route this route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits the disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited since it is top priority to keep all res research classified escape access may be denied under certain extenu extenuating circumstances i read that pretty crappily
Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. Right, okay. A note. Use a regular guest password none. Valid for twenty four hours. Can I use the, or is it like a, oh, no, did it, I think that there would be something in the case, but no. Okay, that takes us back quite a bit. Resident Evil 2. Saved after the boss fight. But yeah, that's... Oh well. You once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Ah, uh, well. Right, so we'll continue on then. At least I know where I'm going this time.
Just walk over to the the Magnum. Of course there is. Um, there we go. There we go. That wasn't too bad. After that set up set back uh I'm definitely gonna save on the way out. Uh but also Just give me a tug of bells, did it? Yeah. Ooh. Didn't know about the pillars, that's that's uh, that's very welcome of you. do for now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, I'm just saving because I don't want to lose too much progress. So the next room I'm going to get. Keep everything for now. Ah, uh, yes, of course. This will be where the liquor comes out of nowhere. It won't scare me this time, but I will have the. that ready for it. I guess if uh, all lurkers could cease function that would be very much appreciated. Okay, so we head up here and there's an more plants to deal with. Yeah. Right, okay. Look at that. We shoot through two different camera angles. if there's anything I actually need for this area. Read that. be like, oh, he's got a card in his hand or something. No. Right. These bloody liquors. Teach you, you dickheads. Right. Two packs of shotgun shells. Thank you very much. I'm just kind of overpowered in every other regard. Fashioned 
zombies now. Oh, thank you. Hello. Wait. Nope, no, you're not done. What's this? Ah, the ammo desk, great, okay. Um. a difference but uh, what does this do base vaccine simulate oh right um I need to use it to free up space. That's rubbish. And uh, use the ammo disk on. What's in here? Nothing. What did I do? My husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to get out of yeah. here, lady. Where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. Don't know about that, lady. No, it's the truth. I oh, discovered okay. this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't You met her like a few You're hours ago, mate. Anyway. You have no idea. What happened? What? Oh, Jesus. Jeez. We've got to get out of here. What am I still to do?
Oh, she's gone. What? Um. Bottom platform, you see. Wait, was I supposed to use the ammo disc to. Oh, oh, I've still got the ammo cables on me. I'm not good under pressure. I know everything. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Oh. I'm just a simple. What are cop. you doing? Come on. You know what this is about, so just hand over the G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right about everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. Mm. You can't do that. Oh! oh. I knew it was coming. Ada! Ada! I got you. Don't give up. You want your last words to be? No. It's Nothing to do with your daughter or anything. Just. just let me go. Oh, Ada. Shut up. You're gonna make it. Oh, Ada. It's too late, Leon. We both know it. No. I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. See you in the fourth game. Do that. Here we go. 
Last bit of the game. in the uh, in another lab. Uh, yes. Five minutes until detonation. Detonation, mission, mission. Right, let's load up. I've got twenty four rounds of the Magnum. Yes, for everyone I am playing on easy, but I'm just doing this to get through all the live streams that I'm going to need to get through. I've, already, I've died once, I need to load up the game. Uh, I'm trying to get through this for the month. Where is he? Saved quite a lot of bullets there for quite a short battle, but you get the gist of it, don't you? To defend myself, I'm very busy. <laughs> I'm just wanting to get through the, these games. And one month is going to be extremely stressful. Uh, so I think playing it on easiest, enjoying the story, absolutely, is uh, the main part of these streams. I'll, sa I'll save the hardcore playthroughs, no death speedruns for uh, other more. Experienced streamers. Leon! Please check out the uh, Inferno difficulty speedrun that I did uh, recently uh, for Resident Evil 3 Remake. Um, but Are you okay? I did have the infinite yes, rocket fine. launcher for that. Hey Claire, who's this kid? You're right. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning of a beautiful friendship. We did it. Goodbye, Ada. Goodbye, Ada. I'll we'll see you in the fourth game. And that is it. For Resident Evil 2, Leon's playthrough. Um, so we are going to be doing Claire's side of things. Let's see who that fucking blonde kid was. Let's get the the backstory on that we duo. And of course, we will be going in search of Chris, Claire's brother. 
and Code Veronica X that will be on be played on the PlayStation 5. Uh, see, that's working okay. Um, we are going to be going through the original trilogy. Uh, so we'd started on Resident Evil 2 because that was actually the first game that I played um, when I first got my PlayStation 1. And we will be going through Resident Evil, I think we're saving Resident Evil for its actual anniversary, which is the 23rd of March. Uh, so we'll be playing through either Chris or Jill's playthrough uh, when we get to that. We're going to also be playing the remakes uh, and playing Zero and Code Record X, playing through Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, you know, all the classics. Um, even though 6 is a big pile of poo, most of it anyway. Um, and 7 as well. Possibly try and 7 in VR if we can, if we can get the right, he right headset because, you know, playing VR with this mic uh, in, your, in your way is quite tough. So I need to get a headset that actually has a microphone attached to it. Um, but yeah, how I'm playing this just now is on the PlayStation TV hooked up to a HDMI splitter so it gets rid of the HDCP uh, enabled like block that you know stops people from streaming like Vita games and old PlayStation 1 classics. I know you could do this on an emulator but that's too simple for me. I got a PlayStation TV for some reason and wanted to try it there. Uh, so that is Resident Evil 2's playthrough done of Leon's story. Uh, so I think on Friday we will be continuing with Resident Evil 2 with Claire's story. Now uh, let's just... Uh, that's what you could have been doing. I got a B. That's okay. Three years and 14 minutes. Number of saves, seven. Yeah. I think if I'd... I think if you do it like under five and then under three hours, then you would get an S ranking or an A ranking. But yeah, I'm happy with a B. But uh, there we go. I'll just save that. Clear B story. But yes, uh, I'll just... Yes, thank you very much for watching this live stream of Resident Evil 2 uh, Leon's story. Um, so we will be back Friday or this weekend depending on what happens uh, but we'll be back with Claire's side of the story uh, later this week okay thank you very much for watching this is Chris Kelly plays please like and subscribe uh, it would be absolutely amazing if you did but thank you very much for watching bye and I will say bye again bye